Right, so welcome to an extremely clear video today of the Beko WMB and Ultra Wide. We are doing a white swatch, which if I take the whites out of the WMB, uh, WTB because I stored them in there, use the WTB as a washing basket. We're going to do, uh, what do I do, daily 60s, should I? Yeah. Give me a minute, someone's knocking at my front door. Who's your bum? I don't know why I said that, but I just did. Um, and we're using Aerial Powder and Comfort Blue Skies Professional. I nicked some out of the house. <laughs> it's like nearly empty anyway. Uh, right, I think that's all the out of the WTB. Right, cool, cool, cool. It's all in. First time doing a whitewashing this in a long time. Right, see how well it gets rid of all the shit. So, let's take you off here. Let's open the drawer. There's Brandon. Um, use this. That's the clean dark, so he's gone hang them on the line. So we'll use quite a bit. Oh dear, that might be way too much. That's just over 100. Nice and sudsy then. I could have used Daz, but oh well. Next time I use powder, I might use Daz actually for once in these machines. I've got a dishwash tablet for maintenance. Oh, that's Brandon. <laughs> I just showed your face, sorry. No, it's fine. It's, uh, right, watch this gun. It's going to go everywhere. Oh, no, it isn't actually. It's very watery. Oh, that looks so good. And smells. Only if you can have smell vision. Because that does smell great. Look. Brandon, look. Oh, yeah. It's very watery as well, which is a really good thing. Right. 70 is an hour and eight. I'll do 60. Obviously, E means it's like an eco friendly cycle kind of way. Let's get this sorted out because it's going to get annoying. The position it's in. Alright, WCB coming handy with holding cable. A little bit like a lime scale but patch there, a lime scale mess. Right, it helps when the phone's not even. <laughs> right. I'll put it on the tile. No, I won't. Put it on the tile. Lol. Alright, I hope that stays clear as well. That's going to be nice and clear because. Look at that. It's going to be a good whitewash anyway, isn't it? Oh, look, it's doing the waterfall feature. Can you see it through the video? Oh, yeah, yeah. And probably through the machine yeah. a bit. Right, when it starts washing, I'll go and take that and put it on the line. Why am I trapped? And I'll go and get the power bank when I'm up there as well. For the iPhone, Fit Pro Max. Because I've I've literally just filmed everything on that today, which is why I, when I'm here, especially like, well, two phones are so helpful. This XR for calling mainly I use now for filming them in here, and then use that at the minute for filming. Because it gives me such an advantage on videos. Just make sure it's not up against the tile because it's otherwise going to have a party and spinning as well. All right, we're taking all powder. Yes, it has. Nice, thank you, Becco. These Beckers always do take powder easily. The WTK at home does, but because they don't really use that much water, um, do not always take it first go. 
That is looking better as well so far. More bubbles. Um, it's about sorry about the similar load to what I had when I first did the white washing here. Oh, belt slipper or something. Um, I didn't use enough powder. This machine requires is more. Is this machine is sensitive to powders? Sensitive to liquids? Yes. Really small loads? Yes. Powder as well. But this load of powder, it doesn't really get. I mean, that's the perfect amount of suds, kind of. Fifty-seven minutes anyway. AKA an hour and a half probably. <laughs> this is the hottest wash I've done tap the whites in this machine in a minute. And a lot first time I've done a 60 in a long time. This machine actually bakes at 60, does it? It's proper shh usually. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. I'll just leave it to charge. Well, I'll go and take the whites at the darks. The whites not even finished yet. Look at a picture. Um, it usually does get sussy by end of main wash though, won't it? Probably. Hopefully. Right, I've got to get these whites on the line. Fuck's sake! I've got to get these darks on the line.
Didn't get the fucking power bank. Back in a minute. Oh, it is getting sudsy as well. I wonder if I'll get 5G tomorrow, Brandon. Are you there still? Oh, yeah. yeah. I wonder if I'll get 5G yeah. in Lincoln tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Because you think about it, it's a city, isn't it? Who is it? Oh, it's a Meow. Heating yet? I think it could be heating anyway. Well, what's a good thing? The washing machine. That's why I need to replace this table at some point. It's a bit tad, it's a tad warm, it is. What's the mains cable out of the shed? Quite cold, actually. It is just about cold. I mean, I'll draw, you know, that's the same cable that one goes to the plug socket. It's the same cable that's been there for I don't know how long now. There's about two sockets in there. Yeah, and you know, I've done a lot of 60 washes, haven't I? Yeah. I mean, it's just yeah, obviously, it's just because it does the bin. I've had the washes on constantly at the minute, haven't I? It smells like air in here as well, it's nice. I love the smell. I wonder why. Hmm, I wonder. I think it is heating, yeah, it seems warm now. 
46 minutes left. So is that going to be real? We'll find out and see. <laughs> It won't be real, it'll be about an hour, it'll be an hour and something probably it's going to take, as a guess. Ugh, I mean, dry. An hour was not too bad. Well, the mystery of the cycle is an hour anyway. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right. That does, let's see, is it gone? Oh, that does, has not gone, it's not gone rock hard, that does, hasn't at all. It's still powdery. There's a little couple of lumps in it, but it's still solid. Yeah, but to be fair, you expect to get the odd lump of You know that smell of heated plastic? I thought, what the hell is that smell? Oh yeah, it's just, it's just a, the, the plug that goes to the, um, the, 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 the Apple plug that does the ring lights. It always gets extremely hot, always has done. Because charging plugs always, like phone charger plugs, always do get pretty warm, don't they? Yeah. And I thought, what's that smell? It's like, oh, I hate the smell. I thought, oh no, never mind, it's just that. It does, it does show something here though. Look at these two pearls. Look at the leg on that, and look at the leg on that. This is new, obviously. This is I've had this for a bit now, actually. I've got, you know, I'll say about half a bottle left on that. I don't know if I'll. Do you think I can carry on buying pearl liquid? Yeah, I think after this, yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep buying it, but I think after this one, I'll buy some aerial liquid or bold gel or something. Well, I'll tell you what, the aerial liquid I had, that was brilliant. Yeah, it is. Because I do like to have a normal liquid, and also like a one for colours or darks. So that's colour protect. Always is helpful. Oh, do you miss the voice? Do you see how I'm not lazy? Yeah. Look at that. Fits in lovely there. I mean, yeah, it hangs over the end, but uh, look, powder does. The pearl does. That's going to be interesting. It's going to be nice to see it. It smells nice. But when I get some chance, I'm going to buy the map, I'm probably going to buy whatever, the blue Lenore for in here eventually. The, uh, yeah, it's, it's one of my favourite Lenores. Here's some washing performance. What we're at? Um, about 40. Look at that. Uh, just dropped the bottom of the and stuff in my phone. Uh, everything looks so white as well. You're feeding your burbs. Oh. That, that, that's a decent amount of suds as well, isn't it? Not too much or not like little amount. Let's see if we should quite a good amount. And socks are coming quite clean as well already. We've already been on for 21 minutes. You see, at least, at least, with, the, at least with the 90 wash, if I do it, I can just leave it to do its thing. I don't have to be up here because obviously it's an empty wash. I know it's going to be reasonably good with it, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, the smell of Ariel. So nice. <laughs> Just doing some brushing. Oh. I can hear it. 
can hear the heater slightly. That's a great level though, mate, for main wash. It's just right up to the top of the drum, right up to here. So the water level's about there, roughly. And it's so close to doing distri wash. You know, it's, does it, it, this machine doesn't do distri wash on main wash. I don't think any side does, I don't know. Hello spider in the corner of my shed. There's one right in the crack of the board. Like stuck down the side. See they don't bother me because I don't look, I try not to look at them. But it's just when I see them moving around. They be, it's the big ones I hate. You're probably the same there though, aren't you? You saw ones in that light, didn't you, that day? But what about the ones in that light that day? Really squeaky window. I do was putting some oil on that, but I'll probably won't. Uh, right. Shush. Yeah. Warm plug, cold plug. Warm plug, cold plug. <laughs> The diameter then why god i do need to replace that then if that's the diameter look that's the thing i think that's the thickness of the wire technically yeah i think that's really for i think the wire i'm using this is mainly for a lighting circuit it needs replacing that does that wire you know what you're doing. yeah i will i mean i will do it i probably won't do it today because when I do it, I've got the wires up in the gap, the wires all in the garage for it. And what I'll probably end up doing is putting the socket on this backboard here, this bit here. More slack, yeah. or I might stick it on this back wall. A bit of boarding there, or something. Really, I want it somewhere about, I'm probably put some sort of boarding here anyway, and then put it up here. Reason why is because I want um, to it be above the worktop, I have the worktop up in here. Because if it was ever a fault with washing machine or something, I need to turn one off easily. Boom, done. I mean, the washing machine cables are only 1.5 anyway as well, so you know. That's no. Anyway. That cable going up to that socket here is 1.5. It looks thinner, but it looks to cause. 38 minutes left. That's gone quick, hasn't it? And we are at about 50 or 50 something roughly. It's not too bad. Actually, I think it's this one that has a loud heater actually thinking about it, because this one I can't even hear the heater. Hold on. Very faintly. It always has had a quiet heater though. Well, we know the machine heats fine, don't we? And then, yeah, this one. Same water, but it seems to be louder. Look how look at the size of the difference in machines. Look. Adam's arm has the same it's the same machine as me as this, but this older one, the older drum. It's newer. Uh, you know, Adam Washer Boy Two Six. His aunt has the same as this, but it's from seventh month of eighteen, so it's new, newer than this. Yet. The drum in it is actually the old version, the basic same drum as this. I've got the new drum with the old paddles. That smells a bit in here. What's the drum cleaner smell? It's not too bad actually. Well, there's no lime scale build up on the machine at all. Well, not what I can see at all. There's probably a little bit. Dors, dors, dursil. Yeah, the dursil is very relatively clean. Well, what machine size would you think that is, really? Would you think? You think that's about seven? I mean, it is looks like, it looks about seven, but yeah, it's about eight. I mean, it is quite actually quite going down a bit. They've done the thing. What they've done the news? That's what the newsrooms are meaning now, though. Like more, if you know what I mean. How do you say it? The more 
bit slimmer, but they go down a bit. Yeah, so basically that's the same size as my drum and my WTK at home, but that's quite shallow. So you go like that, it's literally like that diameter, roughly. But mine goes more down more, like this, same as this, kind of. So I can get the idea. Okay, okay. I'll put it on charge in a minute. Mine's at 72. That's only been charging for that. That's what how powerful the plug is. It shows, doesn't it? Yeah. What are we at now? Oh, we're getting at 60. I can hear the heater now, I can. It's starting to roar now. That's at 60 by the smell of it. Yeah, that's definitely at 60 now. Yeah, there's a little tiny bit. It's very con it's on the con we've got a con bit of a condensation build up in the drawer now as well. I don't think my Samsung will have quite cheap. wasp because that's what I can hear. Did you hear? Mm. I think it's actually around the back of the shepherd sounds of it. <laughs> that chicken's still out there. I'd like to start um, just Yeah, my mum's gonna get me one. Hello! Whoever just joined. Oh, it's you. E. We are currently doing wash load number three. Oh, Matthew, look what I has. WMB, can you be quiet with your heater, please? It's currently just currently hissing away. Hmm. Matthew. Matthew. Professional comfort for the win. It is so thin, look. It's so, like, it's basically water. This is water. Yeah, I know, they're so watered down. But, yeah, this is good stuff. However, 
The other, well, I mean, you do sometimes get quite thin corn if you're lucky enough. I think it depends which ones, which, where it's come from, because it come from all over, don't they? Um, but usually comfort is like proper thick and horrible and gunky. Like that comfort, perfect deluxe is quite thick. It's not too bad. I did the dark, both dark washes, and I did both dark washes and forty on these on daily. They both reach it. This thing here knows how to pump sub blocks away very well. Yeah. But look look at this, look. Look. Babe, look. E, look. Water. I've got aerial powder in here by the way. And here's some wash performance here. Guess what cycle this is guess what guess what cycle this is on? Oh wait, you. Guess what cycle this is on? Incorrect. Daily quick 60. And it is at 60, definitely there. The heat is actually quite loud. Well, it's close enough to 60. I think actually... The heat is off, I think. Got some Daz. Matthew, so come, the detergents are Daz, Aerial, Persil, Persil, Comfort, Comfort. And I'm currently filming in ultra wide on the 13 Pro Max. Right, can this for this XR? Yes, XR's at 100 percent now. That's all good. You go. Regular cotton sixty without without short wash. Yeah. What with? Uh, no, as in um, wash. What wash are you doing? What? Oh, you cool. Why dark six? Why are you doing dark sixty? <laughs> Okay, you didn't need to say that, babe. You do know I am filming. Shush. Crikey. Oh, you're a as well, right? Yes. Bloody hell. Oh, well. I don't care, because, you know. But still, just keep it down that wise. That rust, I need, look at that, that rust, little bit, that bit of paint you scratched off, look. It's not get rusty. Oh. How many dents did you need to give this Beko, by the way? There's a dent here, there's a dent there. There's a couple of watermarks, so that's just, that's just from normal. Do them at 50, no, yeah, do them at 60 then. I'm gonna say. Right, have we got, oh yes, we have indeed got conversation. We have also got steam. It's a very small amount of steam, but we've definitely got condensation. Look at that. It's like a fountain of condensation building up. It's getting sudsy. Oh look, we're all washing at the minute. Cool. Matthew, do you think this will do cool down or not? Heater just turned off. I don't know, it does actually. I don't think it, no, it doesn't do cool down, I swear it doesn't. No, I don't think it does. Only on a, I don't know if it does on, I don't think it does on 70 even. Only 90, 80, 80 or 90 it will. Obviously. But if you do, if you do, but in both of the, in both of these machines, if you do baby and toddler, at any temperature it won't do cool on. Even at 90, these will just drain boil wash water immediately. 
they will not care. Even the WTK at home, that will drain literally 90 degree water whenever it wants to. However, I am gonna have to do it. I will when I got when I bring my thermometer with me. I will do a 90 in this, I think, just to see what actually reaches my thermometer, because I know mine's correct. Because yours is never accurate, is it? This I know on I know this is this this on a 60 this reaches about 60 some 62, and then on a 980 it reaches 85 nearly. So we can get the idea it's going to be like a 90. It's probably just a little bit more than it is on 80, probably only about like 87 to 88, not 89 maybe. Yeah, that is Defo 60. God, oh, it's it's you know me, how I reacted to that the heat on my hand. Ooh. Definitely 60. Okay, so We've got about five more minutes left of main wash, I think. Literally, I've literally just done like a full rinse level just to make sure that it's been on for 38 so minutes. Look, right. eat, look. E. But look at this, this is what I mean by the cabinet front, look. Look how bad it's got. Oh my god, it's such a hole. Yeah, you know how the hole in the back, it's now moved to the front. And then obviously you know that's the side of it, but do you think I might get away with that being like that? I can't replace our cabinet. They don't, they don't even sell the cabinet. If I eventually, I will definitely replace the front, but I think eventually, when I get round to it, I'll see if I can find a scrap nine kilogram version for like nearly nothing. And then nab the cabinet and then, yeah, I'll pass it out. Like I might even replace, if the drum, if the cleanness of the drum's cleaner, I'll probably put that into this. Because reason why, this drum has got so much lime slay that it needs citric acid really badly at the minute. Heat it back on. Yes, we are de Oh, 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 apparently, apparently we don't, apparently we don't do, te apparently Beckos don't reheat. What? Uh, incorrect. This is just turn the heater back on, actually. I know this reheats definitely, and I know the WTK home it does because I, I, you hear it all. You hear, the relays on that, you hear it louder than that. They're proper like click. The relays in this though are very quiet. I think what this will do now is we'll keep the heater on for the next two minutes. I think me and Wish is like that's going to be for another two minutes, and then it will literally turn off and it starts draining. It will just turn off as it puts the pump on. Anyway, what I was doing before I was here was... And heat it back off. So yeah, we're, we're definitely ten pole then. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. My nan's done like six loads of washing today, by the way, Matthew. She's done towels, bed linen, tea towels, darks, whites, you name it. Oh, I fly. <laughs> the flies keep coming in there and keep going out the window crack at the top. Oh, that's about to drain, I think. Okay, no, still going. Heat is off now, anyway, I believe. After it's done its reheating stage about five million times, probably. I don't know. I did see it too. I know it turned the heat off not long ago, so. Probably going to about to be draining now because it's too well. You know, uh, uh, obviously, it's been reheating. Shh. It's been reheating, obviously. 
I've been turning the heater on and off every couple of minutes towards the end of main wash. Obviously, after it's reached fully over just over 60, it starts turning off and keeping it around 62 with the do roughly. Um, this now will have the heater off. I yeah, there we go. It was drained. Oh, well, he's gone. And off we go. Let's see what the water's like outside. Oh, that's steaming so much. Right, it seems like it's time for first interim. Wahoo! What's this going to end up like? Brandon, are you watching? He's about to do first interim. Watch! Now! Off it goes. Oh, this is definitely making a trap of bubble this time. Now here's the time to finish this with sheet this cycle off with the best intensive. Look at that. Oh, oh gurgle. Always does after the first in turn. Chicken. Just turn the water off for no reason. <laughs> I don't know why I just turned the water off for no reason. I was like, wee! I just turned it all off for no reason. I don't know why I did that. I'm just being weird. Do you think eventually when I get round to it, I should put a tile under this one as well? Maybe. Had to do it. Right, we're filling through pre-wash trap room. Yes, we are indeed. This is going to be so interesting to see what the results like are. Huh? I can immediately see I've got some good results, haven't I, so far? I wonder if 70 on this machine will do cool down there. Hmm. Are you ready for the first distribution rinse?
Oh. Mm -hmm. They definitely have a good rinse system, though. Definitely, yeah. I hope it's stayed clear the whole cycle, otherwise I'm going to cry. Oh god, there we go. No, I can't pick it up. Oh, I can. There we go. Oh, Jesus me. That's testing the shock absorbers out anyway. Performance, that is for sure. Very good. Drain time. Very much says, oh, if you do that, it makes it look more professional. I don't know. I prefer, I prefer a dead on white. It's more natural. Oh shoot, hello beans, hi. First rinse by the way. Um Yeah and it yeah it does it drains straight off main wash straight away just as you went. As soon as you left it drained and that's the first time in a long time seeing steam coming out of the out of the washing machine waste pipe round the back. Oh a little birdie watching me, hi. So the drain power comes out of the gutter into the, the gutter, into the ditch, proper steam off that, and then the waste pipe that comes from these two stand pipes that go around the back. You can probably see it down the back, but that you see that pipe down outside around the back, that one there, you can probably see going into the drain. The waste the steam coming off that water, God. 
Here we go. Let's try and we're testing our shock absorbers out again. Look, no, it's not that bad this time. It picked it all up on one side earlier. This is second rinse, and look at that. It's cleared the sud so well. Nice. By the way, this does, this does free rinse as a default, just saying. That's why it's... There we go, testing the shock absorbers out again. Oh, it's not that bad, actually. Well, that's just some rinsing, though, isn't it? Cool, I'm... Oh, are you actually? Okay, I'm doing, I'm doing it that way as well now. But that is some rinse in there, isn't it? But look how intensive this is. And I think it's started draining quicker as well again. Really quickly it's been draining today. Off we go again. It's been, it's been in gurgle mode as well today. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's draining stupidly fast, isn't it? Yes. Yes. It's like this thing here as well. It drains so fast. And just to prove I've looked after it, look, here's the door seal, look, look how clean it is. And here's behind, look. I will do maintenance washing at some point, but at the minute, not right now. I'll buy some, I will eventually. Obviously, I'm shutting this because when that spins, it's open sometimes. Oh, that pump is so deeply sounding. It Google slightly. I have a dishwasher tablet by, what does she use? My nan uses, my nan uses fairy. By the that. She uses fairy, she either uses fairy or finish, that's all she uses. She's not really fussed. <laughs> There's fucking chickens over there, can you see it? Oh god. This is going to be interesting. That spins that first go. Oh yeah, it won't, will it? Oh, will it? Yeah, it will, because this is final interim, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it will as well. Good. <laughs> My might try if I go goodbye. Oh look, I've got the Becca WTB spinning when it's not even on, look. Look, Becca WTB unbalanced when not on. So now I'm just going to wait for the steam to go out of this washer dryer for a sec. Obviously in the meantime we can clean up all the... This has got nine minutes left, that's actually not that bad is it? Because obviously, when you do second rinse, it doesn't do an interim after the first rinse, it goes straight to second rinse. It's quite cool, that is. But yeah, I'm probably going to do daily quick 90 on this after. Yeah. Well, I haven't got, I have, I have got to bring my gun with me. That cable got really warm earlier, it's cooled down now again. This one here. That, that plug's decently warm, that's cold. The, the plug going to the socket, the cable going to the socket, so that's stone cold. What about the shed ink plug? That's stone cold. Oh, the smell of blue skies, comfort. Oh, orgasmic smell. Oh, look, it's taken it already. There we go, changing, changing soil margin. This I don't know why, but this just gives me it makes the shed actually smell what 
a proper old, like a really old washroom or something. That smell is just the mix of the smell because I've got I've got air, the smell of pers a bit of personal lingering around the shed, and obviously I've done two washes of personal pack liquid today, and then the smell of aerial powders lingering down quite a bit, and now especially the comfort is lingering around the most. They're gonna smell amazing after this rinse. So don't forget, because think about what the rinse performs like on this machine. That's gonna just gonna stick that fabric finisher right into the fabrics, isn't it? There we go, filled up to max again. And it's gonna start siphoning that out now. I think it's probably, yeah, it's still filling through all compartments. Obviously, as you know, it switches around during the fill, final fill stage, you know, don't you? But look at that, though you can tell it's actually more clear, the water, the comfort, that comfort I'm using today is really watery because look, the water has stayed clear basically. Because usually if it's really thick, it goes, it goes really murky colour, doesn't it? And you can see it mixing. But yeah, that's just stayed about, that's just stayed clear. Yes. Oh god, I remember that. Every, every time this machine used to fill, god I remember that. Like a river fucking leaking yeah, out. I wish you was here right now, smelling this for me. And off we go, still dynamic filling now. And turned off. Oh my god. <laughs> we are testing the shock absorbers out then. <laughs> this machine's rocking, and look at that is. Yeah, we're just testing, just only just testing the shock absorbers out. There's like one or two socks in there that are kind of, you know, dirty still, but that's just like a little bit of dirtness, but that's nothing, is it? Yeah. I'm using Daily Quick, of course it's not going to come out like what it would on the cottons, would it? Because it's short main wash, well, shorter main wash. It's struggling to pick that one up that time. At least it's giving it a bit of a tumble version, but a fast tumble. It's good for the machine, that is, though, isn't it? Yes. I can. I'm, I'm kind of, I've got. I'm wondering if they don't have. They, they don't have self. Cause I know. They you know, as you can see, no self clean on this machine. Because on these models, now that, that is cool. And it does that. It slows down a bit. I don't know if you saw that, but it slows down a bit. But then instead of slowing down all the way and stopping and going back to district, it starts slowing down and it speeds right up to distribution again. I just do daily. I just do daily quick nine to a dishwasher tab usually. Yeah. But I will do. I will citric acid it eventually. Water has gone. What? Water has gone. What do you mean? Put the hose on the floor. Oh. Yeah, well, I can't really get the hose out because look where the hose is now. It's, I've wedged it underneath down there. <laughs> but that's a good idea anyway, and obviously it's screwed in. Well, there's Brandon. My dr my, the drain rig is actually really good, isn't it? A bit busy down here. I love that blue, I love that blue thing it has. Good, and we're off we go on final spin. By the way, Matthew, this actually limited to 600 earlier with the dark wash in this. I had to pause the machine and restart it. Well, restart, just pause and start again because um, it gets spin back to 1400 because, you know, I don't like things like, I don't, I don't, you know, I understand. It took about five, ten, it took about 10 minutes probably over that to actually get it balanced for it to spun it. But yeah, I had to pause it and restart it so it would spin to 1400 earlier. It's going to be more sensitive now, it's on in terms, obviously, because it's a final spin going to 400. This dispenser drawer here, though, will actually rattle. The, not the drawer itself inside, not the housing. This does. Don't know why. Okay, we're going, we're going, we're just going for it. And quite unbalanced as well. Yes, that is unbalanced.
Ah. Oh, my God. That is unbalanced. Yeah, I think that is unbalanced, you know. <laughs> Does that give you your answer? Look at these towels, look. They're partying. It's not be too bad at Ramping up, let's put your towels in that washing basket because they are going to go party. This machine does not care at all, does it? Oh, hi, spider. What is rattling now? Oh yeah, I remember this drain pipe down the back. The drain hose of the machine. It hits the back of the cabinet when it gets fast. Unbalanced. You bitch, you did not gurgle again. What are you on about? Huh? It does it, it does it, it always gurgles during, uh, well, when it goes off first in term now, especially, proper gurgle. But now, that's actually not done too bad, has it? It's taken an hour, the video's been on for an hour and seven, including loading the machine in that. I only did daily 60.
Oh, it's me. Yeah. So I've done, so far I've done two, I've done three wash cycles in the shed today. That's good, isn't it? Yes. I'll film maintenance wash on the XR, though. Maybe. So my nan and grandma back right now. Yep, it is indeed. Right, let's unload this beast. Right. Let's open you up. Wait. No, oh, okay, tripod's gonna have a party. Oh, the smell. The smell is... No, tripod fine. The smell, though, is just phenomenal. There you go. I love it. Brandon, you should... I don't know if you heard. Did you hear me earlier when it went on to final rinse? And what, how, the, how I say about the shed smell? Oh, results. Let's have a look. They, these are, honestly... Perfectly white. Right, Spider, you're not going to be on my white clothes, thank you very much. Stay there. It smells so good. Right. Uh, and they've come out really. Oh, the smell is amazing. Right, anyways, I love Les. And goodbye, thanks for watching, and we shall see you all next time. Goodbye.